Hi everyone, my name is Omkle Mamelonji Mila for those who do not know me and welcome to my YouTube channel. So seen by the title of today, it's all about picking the best graduate program for you. Now, what does this mean? This actually means um, in South Africa, usually most of our degrees are three years and that becomes your undergraduate degree. And then you get to choose whether you want to go into the marketplace or you want to stay and continue with your studies. Now, when you stay and you continue with your studies, you actually move to an honors degree. Um, from your honors degree, you move to masters, and from masters, you can choose um, to move into PhD or go do like a second masters if you want to. And picking a graduate program can be quite difficult. difficult, can be quite tricky. Sometimes you may also just look at things and being like, uh, because people are not paid that much in that industry, um, given our circumstances and the type of environment that we grow up in, the type of society that we live in, like thinking about monetary uh, benefits is normal. There's nothing wrong with that. And it can just be really difficult picking a perfect graduate program and it's because also universities don't actually advertise postgraduate studies as much as they should. I wish they really did or explain it a bit more so that everyone gets like a picture and they grasp okay this is something that i would like to do and um, one of the things that for me i was really grateful for was for my departments that i was really part of so in my undergraduate i did a ba in politics and anthropology and both departments were very open to information they gave us quite a lot of information about their graduate programs what it would be like to be an anthropologist or a uh, a political science students uh, like in the future they really showed us the type of careers that you can go into um, and the type of con contemporary careers actually that are also emerging out of different spaces because a lot of people also have this notion um, that academia is very stagnant but there are so much there's so much that is out there in academia in academia that is innovative so many new things that are emerging from different type of new contemporary studies um, that people are really engaged in and for me um, when I moved on to um, my honors from my undergraduates I really had to sit down and think about what is it that I really want to do. Now uh, after graduating I luckily took a break and I had a gap here where I actually got time to think about what is it that I'd actually still love to pursue and still do. Um, so I actually had to sit down um, with pen and paper and actually map out the things that I'm passionate about, the things that I still want to do and pursue in my life. So I had I had a choice to actually look for work or go back to school after my degree. Being at home and spending time at home with my parents and actually looking at the type of community work they were doing, I looked at it and I felt in love more with it as I already had been had done many things in my university years before that had to do with um, community engagement civil society and I looked at it and I loved it and I said okay this is exactly the things I still want to carry on doing um, but I want to do them in a different way um, in a more innovative way elsewhere because I want to be diverse and versatile and not just actually work in um, one region or district like for the rest of my life and sat down with my parents and my mom my dad and my mom luckily both of my parents are graduates so they were actually helpful in the in a way that they could explain to me um more things in detail more things about my career choices and actually also give me more information that i actually didn't actually know about so it was really nice to have and i was really privileged to have parents who actually helped me out with my road mapping and once I did my road mapping, I had to ask myself and give myself, well, I, I knew my whys, but I had to find out why do I want to actually do a graduate program. 
because if you do not know your why <laughs> especially if you want to do graduate programs uh, you will feel demotivated and discouraged half the time so it's very important to know why why do you want to do a graduate program do you want to do a graduate program just because everybody else is doing it or it's something that is something of esteem in our society or do you want to actually be in a graduate program because it aligns with the goals that you have set out for yourself in your roadmap. So actually know your whys. Now, this led, led me to start thinking about, okay, which graduate program do I actually want to participate in? Do I want to carry on with political science or do I want to do anthropology? Now for me, I had the option of doing both, but um, I really had to find it in myself to say, okay, what is it that you're really passionate about? Which department um, would you actually grow more in or do you see yourself growing more in? And I chose anthropology. Um, and I think that was the best decision I've ever made in my life when it comes to academics. I will not lie to you guys um, because the program in itself was really extensive and it was dense. It was dense in a way that I learned a lot about myself. The program actually uncovered so many things about myself and my passion. And I also got to learn more about the discipline itself and the direction that it's heading to. Um, and uh, knowing anthropology, you guys know the history of anthropology with colonialism and the type and how it originated as a discipline. But to know what it is today and how it's it's um, how it's, it's been transformed in its contemporary studies has just been such an awakening to the type of influence new scholars can have in different schools um, and different ideologies as well so uh, that for me i think was one of the things that i'm really grateful for when it comes to me choosing anthropology now also as a department anthropology was a very supportive department that we had and it was very open it was it's very very student-centered in the space in the sense that every subject or, or the way they um they've wired their curriculum the curriculum is wired to actually breed critical thinkers in whatever sphere they choose to enter in in the future so i really liked um that type of environment that i was in mm -hmm. and as i said I, I think for me anthropology was the best option for me because it also helped me to explore my passions i said i'm i'm very very passionate about political change social change um especially when it comes to that type of movement in um, women's movements and anything actually to do also with kids and i got to experience that through my project it allowed me to actually explore different methodologies and methodologies that are seen not to be academic and actually gave me a chance to explore myself in that space and to grow as a scholar so i really really loved anthropology for that and then i had to think okay me choosing anthropology is it just because i want to do it because anthropology is seen as um or because anthropology comes more easier to you or does it actually align to um, your goals and the things that you are looking forward to doing in your roadmap remember guys always refer back to your roadmap and i actually got to learn that anthropology well i got to learn it throughout my year in postgraduate anthropology is that anthropology has equipped me with skills to better understand the type of field that i want to get into it's also equipped me with the better critical skills that i need I really really do need in order for me to be a better leader in anything that I do and in any project that I get involved in so it really did align with my road mapping and my goals on my roadmap so that's why I chose anthropology um, and moving forward from anthropology now I needed to 
do my masters and then my masters i needed to choose okay do i continue with anthropology or do i change departments and go to development studies and the reason why i changed from development studies was because i needed to add something extra um, that went with my roadmap again um, and anthropology um, in its in itself is a great great graduate program but development studies at this time was offering more to give to me and to my road mapping at that time and it's not and development studies and anthropology is not really that um, too far apart but um, I needed to choose development studies at this time because I knew it had elements in it that could elevate not only just like my uh, academic CV, but that can also elevate my skills uh, and my skill sets to achieving um, uh, some certain big and small goals in my road mapping that I had set up my out for myself when I started my graduate program. So it's very important for you to constantly align, align your degrees and align the graduate programs that you choose with your road mapping and your goals. It's very, 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 very important to do that. Now, when choosing an institution, um, most of the time, I would say go for institutions that actually specialize in the type of careers that you want to pursue um, so that you actually get the best of the best um, teaching you and actually pouring into your life so whether that's UJ whether that's UWC whether that's UCT but try to get into graduate programs that will actually benefit you and the collective in terms of your road mapping um, so yeah guys i hope this was quite helpful i know it's a very very short video um but i really do hope it was quite helpful in helping you guys making sure that you are picking graduate programs that are suitable for you and that are suitable for your end goal and the bigger picture in it. If you guys want to know how to actually write a graduate um, program letter to your preferred graduate school, um, please let me know down in the comments below and I will do that for you guys. So it was really nice um, talking about academia it is actually so refreshing <laughs> um yeah and if you guys want to see more of these videos please just let me know and i'll do that. please do not forget to comment like subscribe and share and see you guys in my next video bye